Hi, I'm Kevin Dundon from County Wexford in Ireland. And yes, I have a range of products coming to you in the USA. And this one, I absolutely love. They are so professional. They look stunning. Can you imagine these in your kitchen at home? Lovely brushed copper on the outside. Solid stainless steel on the inside. A lovely deep base. Lids for every single pot that we have here. And it's got a little hole here, which lets the steam come out. And you get 10 pieces in this set, and it's great value. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect shepherd's pie. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an onion, cut it down in half, slice down the on onion, turn your knife over, slice it the other way, and then just run your knife through. You get perfectly chopped onions, okay? So there's our onions. We're gonna grab a, a carrot now. And again, you just want to chop these up roughly around the same size as the onion. This is a great way of getting some vegetables into those kids at home. You hide it in the shepherd's pie. Okay, we've got some leeks here. Okay, so there's our vegetables all chopped up. We have our pan on. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil. Vegetables in there. Now you can see the way those pans are really conducting the heat really, really well. Look at that. It just feels so good in your hand. I mean, the weight is perfect. The handle, as you can see, I've actually got my, handle, my hand directly on the, on the handle, and it's not even hot. In with our ground, ground lamb. Now at that stage, we're going to put a little bit of pepper and some salt. And just kind of stir that around until your grand lamb is actually all cooked through. Now this particular recipe we actually cook all the time. It's one of our signature dishes in Raglan Road in Orlando, our restaurant. And it's, I mean, it's so popular. We just go through tons of it every day. I have some tomato puree. And you can see now it's very important that when you're making a shepherd's pie, you build up this recipe exactly the way I'm showing you because it's important that you start salting off your vegetables first to start to caramelize them and you start extracting those beautiful flavors and then followed by your ground lamb and then your tomato puree in there. Into there we're just gonna put a splash of red wine. Now, if you don't wanna use the red wine, that's fine, but remember, when you cook with red wine, once you cook with it, all the alcohol disappears out of it. Now, I have a little bit of beef stock here. In that goes. And finally, I'm just going to get a little bit of flat leaf parsley, a little bit of thyme. We're just going to chop those up. There you go. Put in your herbs. The smells in this kitchen are literally amazing. I am so hungry just by cooking this, but I love cooking, I love food. I'm just going to try a little bit of that there now. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, this brings me right back to my childhood. Okay, so we have the shepherd's pie mixture made. I have a little bit of um, what we would call in the, in the commercial kitchen, a bit of jus, or we might call it at home, a little bit of gravy. We're just gonna heat that through. We're just letting that shepherd's pie cook down. And what you're actually doing is you're intensifying the flavors of that dish. And you can see that the pot is conducting the heat so well. And when you look in that pot, you can see there's bubbles all over the surface of that meat, which means that the heat from, from the source underneath is actually distributing itself extremely well across the base of the pot, which is a great sign of a really good product. Okay, so let's plate this puppy up. Get our plate. I have a ring here, because I just want to make it a little bit posher. So if you're having that dinner party, you know, if it's Patrick, St. Patrick's Day, what a perfect dish to do. So fill the ring up maybe to about just over halfway up, and then just press, press it down with your, with your spoon. Okay, and then we have some mashed potato. Press that down, get the ring off, and then we have a little bit of our jus around the edge of the plate. Nice bit of Fresh herbs sitting on top. There you go. A 
very posh shepherd's pie. There's only one thing left to do, is to try it. Oh, the smells, the smells, they're brilliant. Mm. Mm. That is so good. You know, there's only one thing left to do, is for you to go home and cook it.